If you consume animal products, you are an animal abuser. The blood is on your hands. Because what happens to these beings Please. is the most horrific animal abuse you've ever seen. I'm gonna go, please. So this is what vegan activists do in their spare time. Just stand in front of stores and scream. This poor guy, man. He's clearly just trying to do his job and we have this crackhead making his life hell. Also, I'm no professional on veganism, but I have a feeling that carrying around a freshly severed pig head is not vegan. What are you even doing with your life, man? <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, guts and griffith. Welcome back to the channel for all the returning viewers. Or if this just so happens to be your first time here, then you should maybe subscribe to the channel. Since 64% of you guys aren't subscribed and it would be cool if you know you did subscribe. But anyways vegan activism possibly one of the saddest and most pointless hobbies known to mankind i'm just gonna be flower honest here we don't care we don't fucking care at all all they do is preach and try and take moral high ground we don't fucking care man oh my god did you know that when you eat chicken you're actually eating a chicken's dead body I don't understand why people will try and change your mind on certain subjects. Like, I don't fucking care. I'm gonna go eat my chicken wings and you can eat all the leaves and greens you want. I honestly don't give a shit if someone wants to be vegan or not. It's your life, your diet, not mine. It only becomes a problem when people start standing outside of stores screaming just because you want to buy some milk. Do these people have nothing better to do? Fucking hell. Now, about a month ago, I made a video talking about the vegan teacher and veganism. I feel like at this point, we all have a general idea of what this woman is about. She's, uh, not very sane. She's not all there in the upstairs department. Yeah. Yeah. What the actual fuck? But like I said in that video, and like I said earlier in this video, I genuinely don't have a problem with people who want to be vegan. I mean, I'm perfectly fine with vegans, and some of my closest friends are vegan. Honestly, I don't understand how there's an argument here. If you want to go eat meat, then go ahead. If you don't, then don't problem solved but of course nothing in this world is that easy and there are people who just have to ruin everything the people who love to push their ideals and ideology onto everyone by far the least fun people to be around and the group of people that do this the second most are vegans you can probably guess who's number one but like i said i'm gonna eat cheeseburgers and you can eat salads. I don't see a problem with that, but these guys do. They're not gonna stop doing insane crazy shit until everyone on earth is vegan. Hence the birth of the people like the vegan teacher. But I'm gonna be honest, as annoying as this woman is, she's just a keyboard warrior. She doesn't actually go outside and preach this shit apart from the occasional song at McDonald's. She doesn't actually vandalize anything or go to any vegan protests, mainly because if she did, she'd probably get accidentally barged over and fucking die but yeah she doesn't actually do anything apart from be insane in front of a camera unlike the real vegan activists who go out there and make change in the world the people who stand in front of stores and yell about the truth the people who go inside of restaurants and scream at the chefs and the people who stand in front of the road and block the traffic and the people who go inside of stores and just straight up fucking steal you know i was under the impression that vegan activists were trying to help the world not be absolute fucking degenerates but surely i'm just taking these clips out of context i mean there's no way any sane human being would actually do any of this right right guys i don't even know why i'm asking both of us know the answer to that question these people are not okay in the head Uh, okay, okay, she's going to KFC. I wonder what she's gonna order. Maybe a zinger meal, some popcorn chicken, maybe some...
Okay, well, pouring red paint wasn't on the menu. Why the fuck have you just done that? What do you gain from doing that? That's just not nice to do that. Why have you done that? Why have you fucking done that? You know, I really hate to be that guy here, but you're playing cow sounds at a KFC. They only serve chicken, you fucking idiot. It's in the name. <laughs> this guy made an attempt. He's like, fucking hell, can you calm down? I'm trying to get my drumsticks. I feel so bad for the people who work here. Holy shit. Imagine dealing with this. Thank you, vegan, for doing absolutely fucking nothing but ruining everyone in there's day. Especially this guy. And you've especially ruined the day of the cleaner. Do you know how fucking hard it is to get pain off the floor? For someone who claims to be an animal rights activist, you are being very negligent to the animal rights of Homo sapiens. My prayers go out to the guy who had to clean that. God damn, man. Well, it is food. It's just, just is. It has all the nutritional values that food has. So yes, meat is food. And do you people have nothing else better to do? Seriously, you're walking around an In-N-Out burger, screaming at the top of your lungs. It's not food. It's violence. Shut the fuck up, man. Let them eat what they want to eat. Just go home and eat your fucking leaves. You people do realize that this isn't convincing anyone to be vegan. All you're doing is being obnoxious and pissing people off. You're pissing me off and I wasn't even there. You can see on their faces they don't give a flying fuck about what you're talking about. If you're so vegan, then go out there in the African safari desert and preach this to a lion that just mowed down a family of wildebeest. I'm sure they'll love what you have to say. This can't be fucking real. This can't be fucking real. This has to be a social experiment. A group of vegans standing outside of a restaurant so people can't get inside. What the fuck? They're literally grabbing and pulling this guy so he can't get in. This man is clearly hungry because he pushed right the fuck through. No dear. Or it's just the strength of a steak versus the strength of a pile of grass and a stick. I'm not a betting man, but I know who I'd put my odds on. Hey. <laughs> Now what he's saying here isn't very nice, of course, but he's not wrong. They're blocking the way so no one can get in and they're pulling people back who try and get inside. Honestly, it's fucking weird, man. Go do something else. Anything else. Just fuck off. If you're not there to eat something, then piss off. Why the fuck are you even there? Why is bro smirking like he just did sign? Yeah, that's just another meathead for you. <laughs> I'm just saving the world one by one. Fuck off, you cringy cunt. You didn't do anything. In fact, you lost a 9v1. You should be frowning. These fucking vegans, man. Why? Why are you doing this? What do they gain from this? What do you gain by doing this? Just standing in the middle of the road with signs I'm pretty sure no one cares about. Like, 
What did they expect to change by doing this shit? Now, is there actually a pregnant woman trying to get through? I don't know. It's not shown in the video. But even if there isn't, I still commend this guy for trying to talk to the brain dead members of our society. Oh, these people are so caring and compassionate and thoughtful. Chanting animal rights in the street. How caring. The pregnant woman trying to get through. Pfft, that's nothing, man. We're making real change. Animal rights. My God. You know, counter to popular belief. Sometimes violence is the answer. Because what else can you do in this situation? These guys are literally an inconvenience to everyone else in society. I'm convinced these are actually zombies. Like, there's no way you're real life people. Just standing there chanting, animals have rights. Animals have rights. In the middle of the road, not realizing you could literally die here. I'm convinced this is some kind of cult because what the fuck is this? Normal people don't act like this. No one acts like this. And believe me, in my years of doing YouTube, I've seen some crazy shit, but this is a new level of insane. Why would anyone ever want to do this? I don't fucking know, man. I don't know. I swear to God, that vegan meat is messing with your brain. Why would you ever willingly stand in front of a speeding truck? Why? Now, I know the truck has livestock in it and it's all the animal rights, but standing in front of the truck is gonna do nothing. You're literally making no change. It's either you get run the fuck over or you get out of the way. Those are the only two options. And you crazy people love to play around with the first option. Ladies and gentlemen, stay away from that vegan meat. Because look what it will do to you. <laughs> what do you want? You alright? No, you I'm not alright. <laughs> Eating a poor, helpless chicken. This is what I mean by vegans are just zombies, bro. Two guys just peacefully eating some KFC and you decide to give them a lecture. Give it a rest. Go play some bingo. Fucking hell. But like you're over here wearing a leather jacket. It's not real. Okay, it might not be real fur, but you're still wearing a leather jacket on you. The leather you? jacket is, is, is very, very old. And the cow is still dead. So technically, you're just as bad as these guys. Okay, it doesn't matter. Of you're course still it matters. The chicken might have been old. I'm a vegan, I've taken the choice. I have yeah, yeah, and he's a I'm vegan as well on a Wednesday. No, if you don't no, want to no. see people eating chicken or whatever, blah, blah, that's fine by you, yeah, but then go away from a KFC. Honestly, these vegans just don't make any sense, bro. Why would you stand outside in front of a KFC if you don't want to see people eating chicken? These are new levels of unintelligence. Do you want some? It. I said, do not even... <laughs> <laughs> it's disgusting. Then get the fuck away from a KFC, you idiot. How What's it? could you? How could you? Oh, it's just not right. I wouldn't go with that moral argument if I was you. You guys do all kinds of stuff that are just not right. You, you don't have to agree with it, but then just keep it to yourself. Like, look, look at them guys out. Are you going to go over to them and, uh, and then stop them as well? Yes, I am going to go over there. Out of the billions and billions and billions of things you could have possibly done that day, you decided to go to KFC and harass people. <sighs> I think I get it now. Vegans are just bored. Like, they're just bored. They have nothing to do. They eat grass and leaves and they have nothing else better to do than harass people. And stand in front of cars and trucks. My god, what has society come to? Now, the clips of vegans I've shown thus far, you know, they aren't the sharpest tools in the shed. And they don't seem like very pleasant people to be around at all. These seem like possibly the most annoying fuckers to be around 
on earth. Imagine trying to have a conversation with any of these guys. From being annoying to being suicidal to just being completely emotionally dead. From being brain dead cult membered zombies. You know, these people aren't great. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Veganism isn't a personality trait. It's a diet. You don't need to do all this weird, crazy, insane shit just because you don't like to eat cheeseburgers. Being vegan is perfectly fine, but doing all of this because you're vegan? Come on now, mate. Like, relax with that shit, please. But nothing I've shown thus far is considered illegal. Well, Apart from public vandalism, obstruction of traffic, public nuisance. Okay, maybe there is some illegal shit here. But it just gets worse. Because now vegans are just straight up stealing. But not stealing for personal profit or any form of personal gain. And they're not even stealing anything valuable. They're stealing milk. Fucking milk. Now I can probably guess what you're thinking right now. But vegans don't drink milk. Yes, I know. So then why are they stealing it? Once again, I hate to be that guy here, but you guys do realize that pouring out this milk isn't gonna unmilk that cow. In fact, if you believe that cows suffer during cow milking process, then all you've done is make that suffering useless. Because you just poured it on the floor, now someone's just gonna mop it up and that cow got milked for no reason. Not gonna lie, that's not very vegan of you. <laughs> How is this saving the animals? How is any of this saving the animals? Oh yeah, let me just pour some milk on the floor. That would save the cows, right? No. No, you twat. All you've done is get yourself arrested and waste milk. But at least they put a wet floor sign before they started pouring milk. That just makes it so much better, right? You dipshits could have just not poured the milk. I don't know why I keep expecting any form of logical thinking coming from any of these guys. Can you just imagine the lives of the cleaners for a second? Like, you're not even pouring it on the floor anymore, you're pouring it on the display. Why? The cow's already got milked. The cow is already milked. All you're doing now is preventing someone from getting that milk, which is a dick move, man. For people who love to preach about how compassionate they are for animals, you guys are terrible to humans. Oh, thank you. So take your shoes off there. This is converting literally no one. I don't get it. Why are you doing this? Why the fuck are you doing this? The cow is already milked and the milk is already packaged. Why are you doing this? If you like ran into a cow farm and saved the cow before it got milked, it would still be insane, but it would make sense. Because you know, you don't want the cow to get milked and all that shit, but <laughs> mate, the cow's already fucking milked. Ah, uh, it's the fucking vegan meat, bro. It's fucking with your mind. It has to be. It has to be the vegan meat because, let's be honest, no one mentally stable is gonna stand in the middle of the road. But not only are they standing in the middle of roads, they're standing in the middle of fucking highways. Can someone please explain to me how the fuck doing this is saving the animals? All you're doing is pissing everyone off. Literally everyone hates you for it. You're turning people against your cause. Stay away from that vegan meat guys because look what it does to you. Look at these people. But thankfully there's still some hope left for humanity. <laughs> What a hero. My hero. But then this idiot, stupid, dumb twat decides to crawl back on the road. It has to be all those leaves they're eating, bro. Because what else is it? No one sane does this. <laughs> well, actually, there's no difference between real meat and vegan meat. No vegan on earth genuinely believes that. I mean, you can keep saying it as much as you like. It's just not true. <laughs> 
Real cheese versus vegan cheese, melt test, and scrapability test. And it looks like, well, you know. Real cheese was. Real bacon versus vegan bacon cook test. Uh, is this even going to be a match? Let's find out. And real bacon wins. Real burger versus vegan burger cook test. Is this even going to be a match? Let's find out. And real burger wins. Real eggs versus vegan eggs cook test. Is this even going to be a match? Let's find out. And the answer is... I don't think anyone had any doubts of this. Our official food is clearly doing some weird shit to the vegan community. Fucking hell. Now a common phrase that you'll hear from these people is animal abuse. If you're not vegan, then you're abusing the animals. Yeah, yeah, sure, mate. It's not like animals fucking maul each other down every possible chance they get, but yeah, sure. Just because you like to eat meat doesn't mean that you're automatically gonna be abusing animals. In fact, only 5.8% of pet owners are vegan, which means 95% of pet owners eat meat and the majority of pets are fine. And I'd actually argue that forcing your carnivorous pet to eat a vegan diet is a form of abuse. And I use the word forcing here because that's what it is. If you give them the choice, they will choose the meat every time. Well, actually, my dog likes to eat vegetables and he doesn't like to eat meat. If you give them the choice between a slice of ham and a plate of salad, they're choosing the ham 10 out of 10. I fucking promise you, I bet money on it. So some of you just don't believe that my dog's a vegetarian. So I have this set up right now for you guys to see. We have this really gross, um, it's like a beef, like dog food. Yeah, it's gross, but it's not for you. It's dog food, you fucking idiot. And then I have this delicious green salad. So I'm gonna bring her out and we're gonna see which one she likes. Also, my dog is very healthy. She loves greens. She loves her salad. And I don't force her to eat her salad. It's what she likes. Come here. Come here. Okay. Okay, so this is Bonnie. She is my little... <clears throat> yep. Really healthy. That brother is starving. If you don't give that man his beef jerky and chicken... Vegetarian. Okay. Now... No, no, no. No, don't eat that. No, no, no. Eat that salad. Look, salad. Oh, but guys, she doesn't force her dog to eat salad. She just, that's what the dog wants, right? Do we need the salad? Here, pick one. No! No, no. No, Bonnie, no. You told him to pick one, and he picked the one he wanted, but you didn't like the one he wanted, so you just... This is animal abuse, man. This is fucking animal abuse. No, don't be silly. They're vegans. Vegans can't abuse animals. That's just, that just can't happen. So my dog is vegetarian by choice. Um, no one believes me, so I'm gonna prove that. Her favorite is lettuce. So I have lettuce here and I have ham here. Um, and we're gonna see which one she goes for. Okay, ready? Hmm, I wonder which food the carnivorous canine is gonna go for. Oh god, I don't know which one to bet on. Okay, I have her behind the store. We're gonna see which one she goes for when I open it. We have the nasty, gross ham and the delicious, fresh lettuce. Okay, here we go. Ready? Okay, pick! Which one do you want? Which one do you want? Wait, wait, wait! No, you Guys, come on. Clearly vegan by choice here. Why would a dog ever want to eat some nasty ham anyway? It's not like they've literally been hunting their own food for thousands of years. Of course not. <laughs> and they've got two bowls here, right? Oh, no. One is full of vegetables <laughs> and one is full of meat. Oh, Storm. Oh, Ivan. Storm. Right. Storm, we hate to put the you. temptation in front of you, you but it's up with you. Storm. Right? Oh, Ivan. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Oh, she's obviously going to go, obviously. Oh, you little... <sighs> Yes. I didn't swear. Oh, <laughs> and there is oh, no. natural oh, selection. No. Oh, oh no. she's checking it out. <laughs> okay, all jokes aside, dogs aren't vegan. They're just not. Biologically, given to their own devices, they're gonna eat meat. Yes, they can technically live off a vegan diet, but it's not optimal. Humans can technically only live off potatoes, but I wouldn't advise doing that either. Stop forcing your ideology onto dogs, stop forcing your ideology onto people, and stop forcing your ideology onto me. I don't care. I was joking originally, but I'm starting to think that there's genuinely something in a vegan diet that fucks with your mind. These people aren't okay. Seriously, there is something deeply wrong with them. And no, it's not because they don't like to eat animal products, it's because they do all this crazy and outlandish shit. Seriously, no one is gonna wanna have anything to do with your community if you do this. All you activists do is actively turn people away from your cause. Because all you do is ruin their day and 
all this weird shit. Then I had an infant sausage. This is where I get my protein to stay fit. Next, I got into the arm. Nice and bloody like I like it, but sauce it up to your preference. Lastly, before digging in, make sure you season your human a lot. We may be otherworldly, but we don't skimp on the spices. And this is why aliens don't want to talk to us. How the fuck is anyone going to see this and think, you know what? I'm going to go vegan. No one thinks that. No one fucking thinks that. But anyways, guys, this is in fact the end of the video. And if you liked, please leave a like. And if you didn't, then feel free to degrade me in the comments. And if you made it this far into the end of the video, fucking hell, it's been like 25 minutes. You watched me ramble on for 25 minutes and you didn't subscribe? Come on, man. But with all that said, all my links and socials are in the description. Feel free to follow me on anything. And if you want to give me any video suggestions or just talk to the community, we have a Discord now. So feel free to join. But until next time, make sure to drink your water and get enough sleep at night. Okay, goodbye. No, I gotta keep my fire on, fire on, fire on, fire on Yeah, my whip, I'm flying That girl on my left, that bitch on my right on Damn your heels, they so high, yeah, get your height on Yeah, smoke that guy like Shaq, tell that guy I ride on